Um, I don't know everybody who's on the call. So if you want to type in the chat and tell me what city and state you are tuning in from, that would be great too. New Jersey people, cool. Ohio, cool. Very cool. Okay, well, I am in Pittsburgh. Um, so I am on Eastern time. And let's see, let's just jump right into it here. So my name is Katie Kelly. Um, I am the owner of Clarity with Katie is my brand. And I offer intuitive services well as um, a product line, which is going to be this month. Hi, if you're just joining. <laughs> um, we just got started, so don't worry. Um, just go ahead and mute yourself. And um, I have everybody typing in the chat box what city and state you're tuning in from. Okay. Let me see if I can make this go down there. Okay, so I am a, um, I'm an energy coach. I am a doTERRA wellness advocate. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm a professional tarot card and oracle card reader, um, as well as a stay-at-home mom with three girls. So I'm a little busy, busy, dizzy. Um, my girls are, I have a 10-year-old stepdaughter and an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. So I'm hiding out right now with some of my closest friends in my daughter's room doing this because the kids are all home, so they're downstairs. If you hear any thumping or noises, just bear with me there. Um, so I'm originally from Pittsburgh, and I'm now living in Indiana, PA, which is about an hour east. So if you were looking to book an intuitive service, if you're familiar with my um, Facebook page or saw any of my posts like that, um, I can do Skype. Um, consultations with people, but I'm also available to meet up in person if you are local. So, um, I am not, I'm a lot of things, but I am not a medical professional. I'm not a doctor or a nurse or um, any of those things. And I have to say this, unfortunately, because we are going to be talking about or making reference to some medical things. I am an energy coach. Um, it's not the same thing. So, don't be silly, guys. I hate to even have to say this. Just make sure you're always um, consulting the necessary people before you make big changes. So we'll skip over that one. Uh, so today's class, we're going to talk about our chakras and how um, we can best support them using essential oils. Um, there are so many ways to support your chakras, and um, we're really going to just scratch the surface here. Um, I could very easily give an hour-long presentation on just one chakra. So it has been kind of a process for me to condense this information down to just an hour's worth of time. Um, but that being said, if there is unanswered questions at the end of this presentation, please, please, please reach out to me, whether that's on Facebook or send me an email, et cetera, because I would be happy to help. So you have 114 different chakras in and outside of your physical body. Um, so Again, we are just scratching the surface here with the main seven. Um, I'm not even aware of all of them, um, but you have chakras in your hands, in your feet. Um, you have chakras in between your seven main chakras. You have some that are way above your head, some that are below your feet, etc. cetera. So um, what they are is they're energy wheels. And um, they call them wheels because when you are like me and see things energetically a little bit differently, um, you can actually see them start to spin just like a wheel. And they spin in a clockwise motion when they're moving um, effectively, when they're balanced. Um, they affect different um, physical and emotional aspects of your life. So each chakra kind of corresponds, each of your seven main chakras um, kind of corresponds to um, an emotional or physical thing. Um, Sometimes what happens is you have one chakra that's overactive and its neighboring chakras will go underactive. Um, and that's something that we'll talk about too, but I'm just trying to give you kind of a basic idea here. So here's where they are. Um, your crown chakra is right above your head. Uh, your third eye is right in between your eyebrows right here. 
Your throat chakra is right where my scar is, right there. Uh, that's something we'll talk about too. Um, your heart chakra obviously is in your heart space. Solar plexus is at the base of your rib cage. Um, sacral chakra is below your belly button, and your root is at the base of your spine. So that's what we're looking at here today are just those seven main chakras. So first we're going to talk about your root. Now, your root chakra is always the most um, frequently out of alignment chakra. We live in a very, very ungrounded society. Um, again, it's located at the base of your spine. So if you look at that little picture in the middle, this guy right here, um, you can see exactly where that is. So um, what it kind of governs and rules is your safety and security um, and your sense of being grounded or not. Um, what I mean when I say that we live in a very ungrounded society is that we, as a whole and as a group, have a tendency to not be able to stay level or in control of ourselves. And most of us have some underlying source of anxiety. Most of your anxiety actually comes from your root chakra. And as you can see, that's one of the symptoms of having an underactive root chakra. Um, a, a lot of people have this problem. So if you're somebody who suffers from anxiety, don't worry. There's an energetic cause for it. Um, as well as other things. So also kind of ruled by your root chakra is your adrenal glands, um, which regulate your flight or, flight or, fight or flight <laughs> um, responses, um, cortisol, which is your stress hormone, um, and uh, also related to your root chakra is your colon. Um, and a lot of times people who have extreme anxiety, um, or extreme uh, problems or imbalances in their root chakra, sometimes they can develop problems in their colon as well. Um, your root chakra is also what deals with money and your finances. Um, if you were getting a tarot reading, and um, this is just for people who may have had one before, your root chakra is associated with the suit of pentacles. So it deals with all of your uh, material possessions. So if you have imbalances there, then your root chakra is likely what's to blame. Um, one of the things that you can do to help your root chakra, aside from essential oils, is utilize a crystal called hematite. And I'm going to show that to you. Hematite is a magnetic crystal. This is mine. It's a huge egg, and it doesn't have to be this big. Um, but it's like silver in color. It might be kind of hard to see it. And it's very, very, very heavy. And one of the reasons it works for your root chakra is because it really makes you feel like you're glued to the earth. Um, I've actually seen these sold in staples, um, like the uh, school supplies store, um, because they're magnetic and people play with them on their desk. So it's one of my favorite crystals because I constantly have to work at staying grounded. Um, when your upper chakras are super active, like your third eye and your crown, and you're kind of floating around in outer space all the time, um, it's really, really important to stay grounded because you won't see or receive information with any clarity unless you're grounded, unless your root chakra is working properly. So if you're somebody that feels like you're very intuitive, even if you're somebody who's picking up on a lot of messages, maybe from spirit, maybe from elsewhere, then it's important that you work at getting your root chakra to work appropriately and function the way that you want it to um, so that you can be in good shape there. So um, oil wise, On Guard is the number one oil, I would say, for your root chakra. Um, it has in it... If you're not familiar with doTERRA's products, they are, in my opinion, the best in the world. They're the best that the market has at the moment. So we'll only be talking about doTERRA's products for these um, slides. Um, and On Guard is a doTERRA-specific blend. Um, it's a blend of wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And clove, rosemary, and sometimes wild orange um, are all very, very, very supportive for your adrenal glands um, and for your root chakra. And they will help you to feel balanced, grounded, and um, healthier kind of 
all in all. So because your root chakra regulates your sense of safety and security, um, it makes sense that something that is boosting your immune system is also going to be beneficial. Um, so this is the key oil. If you don't buy any other oils for anything, I would suggest On Guard because it's boosting your immune system as well. So clove and rosemary are already in here, um, but if you wanted to buy those as single oils for blending purposes, that's also a great way to go. Um, doTERRA's Balance, I use this on the bottoms of my feet on a daily basis. And the days that I skip this, I know that I've skipped it. Um, it is a lifesaver for me. And this is a blend of, there's cinnamon, oh, spruce, oh wood, there's not cinnamon in it. Frankincense, blue tansy, blue chamomile in this. And uh, this is a <laughs> lifesaver for me. Um, and it helps me really feel not only grounded, but it takes the edge off of my anxiety. So I have kind of an underlying anxiety also, and it's just because I um, am a medium and I can see the spirit realm and sometimes it is um, anxiety inducing. So it's important for me to stay grounded. Passion is another uh, doTERRA blend um, in the emotional aromatherapy kit. Um, here it is. Um, and this one's red in color. Don't, um, a lot of doTERRA's oils are kind of color coded for your chakras. Not every single one, but if you're in doubt and just, you know, having a moment or you feel like you really need some support, a good rule of thumb is to look at what colors are on these um, different oils. So balance obviously has a green label on it, um, and the color of your root chakra is red, um, but balance is still a good one for that. But passion is a red one too. And passion contains uh, cinnamon clove, cardamom, ginger, sandalwood, jasmine, vanilla. It smells delicious. A lot of people use this instead of perfume also. Um, so that's another great option. And vetiver. So vetiver is a game changer for me as well. Vetiver has helped my kids to sleep. It has helped me to stay relaxed. It's taken the edge off of my anxiety times a billion. It's helped me to stay focused. And I like to use it in a diffuser when I meditate um, because it seems to give me a sense of like a, a little help. Um, in staying focused on the thoughts that I'm trying to meditate on. Um, so for that reason, it's also very beneficial for your root chakra. So we're gonna move on to your sacral chakra, which is color, its color is orange. Um, so your sacral chakra is what governs your creativity um, so if you're somebody who likes to paint or likes to write or likes to express yourself with some kind of art form, um, your sacral chakra is probably super healthy and it's probably working very well. Um, it also governs your relationships and your sexual health and your um, security and your feelings. So a lot of times people who have an overactive sacral chakra, um, will be people who kind of are not drowning in their work necessarily, but they're kind of throwing themselves into creative outlets and maybe not feeling so grounded all the time. Having an overactive sacral chakra will pull energy from your root and will make your root underactive. It'll have to steal from there, and it'll probably steal also from your solar plexus, which we'll talk about next. So usually, if you have an underactive root chakra, it goes along with an overactive sacral chakra. So overactive, we're talking about hormonal fluctuations, which are no fun. So maybe um, in the form of just erratic emotions, hot flashes sometimes, really radical PMS, um, or just a hard time of the month as a woman, um, codependency in relationships, um, people who need other things to make them feel secure or to, they associate their feelings with an external source, that's codependency. So whether that's somebody who's addicted to another person, or somebody who's addicted to sex, somebody who's addicted to alcohol, or to chapstick, doesn't really matter. You're associating your own feelings with something else. That's your sacral chakra. Underactive, oftentimes when I see a client who has an underactive sacral chakra, it's somebody who's had 
had some kind of a trauma in their life. Um, it's a tough thing to deal with, but it's usually a trauma that hasn't aired out. Um, a lot of times those people have a lack of a partner because their emotions are so erratic that they feel like they can't settle down. Um, they have creative blocks. So there may be somebody who would normally be a writer or a painter or something along those lines, but can't really throw themselves into it because they're almost afraid at what might surface. Um, potentially they could have some fertility problems too. And it's not always that extreme, um, but those are just some examples. Um, as far as crystals are concerned, carnelian is an awesome crystal. Hold it up. It's kind of orangey. The lighting in this room is kind of not the best. It's kind of orangey and it has some veins in it and cracks. Um, it's a really, it's kind of called the feel good stone. Um, it's really good for balancing that. And we're going to look at oils next. So oils for your sacral chakra. Clary Sage and Clary Calm are awesome. Um, if you're somebody who is struggling with your time of the month or with the hormonal fluctuations or just even emotional fluctuations, um, Clary Sage is awesome. Sage is a um, psychic's best friend also because it can also help you clear out the energy in a space or on yourself. Um, it's kind of like the bouncer of herbs. Um, if you're talking to somebody who's um, like a shaman or um, somebody who is even like a pagan, um, they're going to tell you that white sage when you burn it, that's a whole process. That's another thing to talk about. Um, is really good for purifying the energy of a space. Um, it's called smudging. So clary sage is an awesome, awesome oil to have on hand. And I go through it like crazy. Um, and Clary Calm, the Roll On Blend, which is awesome too. So Neroli, I'm so excited that doTERRA just came out with a Neroli roller at convention this year. And I nobody has it yet. Um, it's coming out, well, I guess, Andrea, you probably have it. But um, it's coming out October 2nd. And Neroli is like a citrusy, kind of sweet blend. And it's so soothing. It's kind of like a mother um, and I don't know how else to say that. It feels that's something that you would roll um, directly onto your lower abdomen and potentially on the bottoms of your feet just to give you an overall sense of warmth and of self-security. If you're somebody who has suffered from a trauma, that's an awesome oil to use. Um, also, rose um, is another one that just came out of convention that we don't have yet. I don't have yet, uh, but I can't wait for that one and wild orange. So wild orange is, it's been kind of a game changer for me because it's energizing um, and it is really, really nice to help you balance your emotions also. Wild orange is great. And wild orange can be done internally too. So if you're somebody who kind of wants a grab and go method for um, balancing your chakras, just put a drop in your water or this is a LaCroix drink. I have lime in this one right now, um, but that'd be delicious too. Okay, so next we have our solar plexus. Um, and the mantra for this one is I do. This is all of your personal power. This is your life force energy and your prana. So if you think about, it's located right at the base of your ribs, right in the center. And if you think about when you're pregnant um, and you have a baby, that's life force energy. That's what prana is. That's your, um, that's, kind of everything. Um, your solar plexus is so important and it regulates your security, like your, your personal security. So if you have an underactive solar plexus, it's usually somebody who's insecure. An overactive solar plexus is going to give you a judgmental, controlling somebody who can't just let things go or let things roll. If you're somebody who struggles with that, you can't delegate tasks to other people. Um, you are kind of gossipy potentially, something like that. Or even if you know somebody who is, this is just gonna help you to understand where they're coming from. Sometimes you get an overactive solar plexus because your heart chakra is underactive. So sometimes you get a person who's judgmental or bossy um, or controlling because they are trying to make up for a lack in the heart. So just try to give people room, that's why I'm telling you. Um, now, an underactive, on the other hand, is going to give you a person who is kind of a doormat. You get walked on. You don't know how to say no to people easily. So um, that is an, 
the other end of the spectrum. Um, crystal wise, I have this beautiful tiger's eye heart that my stepdaughter just got for me on her trip to Colorado. It doesn't have to be a heart, but tiger's eye is an awesome crystal for somebody who's intuitive because it also gives you some psychic protection. I actually have a ring that I wear very often that is, um, has a tiger's eye stone in it. So that's a great way to go. And as far as oils are concerned, we have lemon. So lemon is an, also an awesome grab and go choice. Um, it's very, very energizing and I love it in a diffuser. Um, I diffuse it with peppermint often, um, which is also good for your solar plexus. Um, Slim and Sla Sassy blend is a metabolic blend and it's gonna help you, if you're somebody who kind of has some excessive weight around your middle, Slim and Sassy is going to help you with both your solar plexus and your root chakra. Um, and your root chakra is um, a lot of times, let me back up, a lot of times that excess fat is due to excess cortisol production. So Slim and Sassy is going to help slow down that cortisol production. So it's helping with both your solar plexus and your root. So it's kind of a double duty oil. If you're looking for more bang for your buck, Slim and Sassy is a really great one to use. Um, grapefruit is very, very versatile. It goes really well with a lot of different oils in a diffuser. If you're looking for an aromatic blend, lemongrass also. Lemongrass is great. If you have a um, an excess amount of candida in your system, um, so it's too much yeast, um, that it's, it's your gut health. Um, lemongrass is also a great addition to either your beverages or to a veggie capsule. Um, that's a great way to go also. So Cheer is actually on sale this month also. This is a, uh, this Cheer Roller is on sale this month. It's 10% off through the doTERRA website. And this is a blend of, uh, let's see, I don't have these memorized and I should. Wild orange, clove, star anise, lemon myrtle, nutmeg, vanilla, and ginger, and cinnamon. So this is going to go well with both your sacral chakra and your solar plexus, and it's going to uplift your mood. Um, this smells amazing. This is probably one of my favorite smells out of the aromatherapy, um, emotional aromatherapy kit that doTERRA has, which I bought instantly. That was like one of the first things I purchased. So. That and Digest Zen. Um, digest Zen, obviously your digestive system is right in that same physical region. So that's another great one. If you are somebody who struggles with your digestive system, Digest Zen actually has different um, supplements also that doTERRA has to offer. So that's another way you can support yourself. Um, these energy systems affect so many different areas of your life and they do everything from your compassion and joy and emotional health all the way to your physical health as well. So managing your gut bacteria is going to help you feel happier. And I'm serious when I tell you that. So, okay. So moving on, we have your heart chakra. So your heart chakra is um, it's your meridian point. And this is something that's very close to my heart for <laughs> lack of a better word. Um, my heart and my throat space are so important to me because I really, really had a rough time getting those balanced. Um, if you notice, I have a pretty big scar right here. Um, I was in a bad relationship for a while and I have since moved on and I'm all better now. Um, but during that time, I really was, um, my heart chakra was overactive to say the least. Um, I really felt like I couldn't speak my mind too, which was a symptom of my throat. And, um, I was trying to over love somebody who wasn't capable of receiving it. This led to major, major, major health problems for me. And thankfully I am who I am now so I can see how this all happened. But I got this case of pneumonia um, and it was a virus and it came out of the clear blue sky. Um, my daughter was two months old and uh, I, my lungs filled up with 60 pounds of fluid. Um, that's a lot. 
and I was in a coma for a month and I didn't get to see my daughter and I had a trach and events and all of this crazy stuff happened. And energetically speaking, I can see exactly how that happened because of the way that my energy systems were not working correctly. So don't be that person. Um, your heart chakra obviously governs your love, your compassion and empathy, um, anger, forgiveness, those types of things. And any trauma that you've been through, any really painful loss or tragedy, that's all going to get held in your heart space. So I've had some terrible tragedies happen in my life too, and I have those held in my heart space. And I can tell you... So this is something that also was the case with me. So I had really painful losses and I wasn't dealing with them correctly. Um, and I had really bad circulation. Um, my feet and hands were always cold. And then I started to talk to people about it. And it turns out that lots and lots of people who had really painful tragedies or really bad trauma in their life also had cold hands and feet. So there's an answer for that. It's Cyprus. We're going to move on to that soon. Um, but this is all having to do with your heart chakra. So um, excessive empathy and jealousy um, and anger are all overactive. Um, underactive, we're talking about unresolved problems, PTSD, grief, circulatory issues. And under other considerations, lung and respiratory issues, lymphatic issues, breast health, thymus gland, all of those things, it's kind of hard to say whether those are due to an overactive or underactive system. Um, I would say that if your airways are restricted, that your um, heart chakra is underactive. But I would say that if you're filling up with fluid like I was, then it's overactive. So it just depends on kind of what you have going on. Crystal wise, um, rose quartz. I have this beautiful mala necklace um, that I actually got from Target of all places that's made out of rose quartz. So Let's look at that, and let's look at oils. So oils, bergamot. Bergamot is the oil of self-acceptance. I'm going to say that again. Bergamot is the oil of self-acceptance. This is such an epic game changer. Um, bergamot has, like, revolutionized my self-care, and it's something that I use on a daily basis. Um, it's really, really powerful stuff. I use it in a diffuser and I rub it directly onto my heart. Um, sometimes I'll even rub it into my feet along with some balance. Um, so bergamot is a really, really good one. Rose, um, we already talked about that. Rose is also good for your sacral chakra. So if you're looking again for some bang for your buck, that's a great way to go. Um, lime is great if you want a grab and go. Again, I put some lime in my drinks and I drink them all the time. Um, forgive is an awesome blend. This is, so I let my kids go through my oils all the time and sometimes Claire will grab this one and put it on her own feet. Um, forgive is a really nice kind of outdoorsy blend. It has spruce, um, bergamot, myrrh, thyme, citronella, lots of things. So this is a great way. Um, peppermint. So peppermint is, um, you're going to see when we move forward too, it's actually good for four different chakras. So peppermint is an also really good choice for you. Um, cypress is going to help you with that circulation problem we just talked about in ylang ylang. Um, let's see, eucalyptus is also great for, obviously for your lung health and to help you breathe. So that's how to manage your heart chakra. Eucalyptus is one that I would put with peppermint in the diffuser. Cypress, I would actually rub into your legs um, and into your arms to help you with your circulation. Um, ylang ylang is better in a diffuser. Yeah, so, okay, moving on. We have your throat chakra. So the color is light blue. It's that color that you see on the background there. Um, it's your I speak. It deals with your expression. Um, I had a big problem with this also because I was um, really afraid of judgment um, with my gifts. Um, I was afraid people were going to think I'm crazy. And people do sometimes think I'm crazy and they think I'm a witch and think I'm 
nuts. So that's their own opinion though. And now that I have my throat chakra balanced, I don't have such an issue with it. I just kind of move on with my day. So if you have an overactive throat chakra, usually it's because you have an underactive heart chakra. So do you ever hear the expression that says hurt people hurt people? That's what we're talking about right now. If you have an underactive heart chakra because you have some kind of a pain or whatever, um, it's gonna try. It's gonna make your throat chakra overactive to try to compensate for that, and that's when you get a person who is potentially not always overly opinionated, um, verbally aggressive, loud, judgmental, pushy, controlling. Controlling comes from your solar plexus. So again, we're talking on both sides of your heart chakra. Those are all going to be interrelated. So that's how these systems all work together. Um, if you have an underactive throat chakra like I did, then you're kind of wishy-washy. You're kind of a pushover. You're maybe not clear about boundaries with people. Um, people might take advantage of you because they don't really know what you mean. Um, and you might be kind of not only afraid of judgment, but you might judge yourself. That's a symptom in your throat chakra too. So um, some other considerations, again, are respiratory issues and thyroid issues. Um, thyroid issues, you can have hyperthyroid or hypothyroid. Um, so it just depends on which way you're going there, if it's overactive or underactive. As far as crystals are concerned, I have this beautiful blue lace agate. I wish you could see these better in my lighting. Maybe I'll take a picture and post it. Um, this is an awesome crystal, and this is something that I will sometimes hold when I'm giving a presentation um, because it does really help me a lot. Um, and let's move to our oil support. So throat chakra healing is one of the easiest ones to do. Um, oils Zach, like... Come here. Sorry. No. Sorry. Somebody just unmuted themselves, probably accidentally. Um, so peppermint, so the breathe line that diffuser, that excuse me, that doTERRA has to offer is awesome. Um, they have throat drops. They have a breathe stick, which is like a VIX stick that you can use, um, and an oil. Um, and the oil is one of my favorite smells. I used, I signed up for doTERRA and got like a starter kit and I have a five milliliter bottle and I used almost all of it in the first week that I had it because I really like the way that it smells. Um, this has laurel, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, lemon, cardamom, good stuff in here. So there's this. Um, so doing all of those breathe steps that would all be supporting your throat chakra, um, as well as, because eucalyptus is also good for your heart um, and peppermint, um, and peppermint's also good for your solar plexus, you're also supporting those other systems as well. So breathe is a really great inclusive line. Peppermint would be my first choice though. Um, now, and peppermint beadlets are also great. So, and they can all go in a diffuser. Next we have, our third eye. So this is always a fun one for me to talk about because um, a lot of people have heard of your third eye and obviously it governs your intuition. If you are clairvoyant, um, your clairvoyant um, talent, superpower um, will come from your third eye. It's your imagination too. So um, your mantra for this is going to be I see. Some people call it your brow chakra. And this is where all of your otherworldly visions will come from. Um, its color is indigo, and if you're meditating to help open up your third eye, you want to focus on the color indigo and use some sodalite, which is my favorite. This is like um, a really nice shaped stone, too, um, because it fits really well in my palm. It's nice for when I'm meditating. So I have, <laughs> I have grown to love my third eye chakra. Um, it took a while though. I have to say I was a little scared of it at first because I can actually feel it pulsing. So if you're awakening, if you're somebody who's opening up to your intuitive gifts, you will feel it pulsing too. And I have learned to love it. Um, don't be scared. You'll get that pulsing sensation if it's underactive because you're not just letting that normal process 
happen and evolve. Headaches are also a symptom of having an underactive third eye chakra. Um, a lack of imagination, um, insomnia, uh, which is super, super, the, that was the case for me, absolutely. I felt like I couldn't sleep at night. Um, so if it's overactive though, which became the case for me, um, you'll have a lack of clarity and it'll be very, very, very hard for you to stay grounded. So people who are intuitive, the chakras that are on the top half of your meridian at your heart space have a tendency to take over and it's really, really hard for us to get our lower chakras to stay in line. Um, so most of the time, if you have overactive chakras, they're the top ones and underactive chakras are the bottom ones. But that being said, overactive third eye can cause dizziness, um, feeling like you're in outer space quite literally, um, having the tendency to go out of your body or having out of body experiences, memory problems, being just flighty and distracted at all times having a sense of fog come over you when you're in a crowded room because you're trying to absorb all of these energies and process them with your third eye. So that's all going to happen um, if you're somebody that's awakening. But there are ways that you can support yourself. Um, I would stress that one of the best ways to support your third eye chakra is to support your root. So we're going to go back to that again. And I don't think I mentioned this before, but it's really important to know. Your root chakra is associated with your sense of smell. It's the only chakra that's like that. So you can really do a lot to help your root to heal and function and spin properly. Um, and by doing that, you're going to help your upper chakras function to their best potential too, we'll say, um, because you'll be more clear. So. Here are your oils for your third eye. Sandalwood. So sandalwood smells amazing. Um, it's one of my favorites, and it has really, really, really helped me to get really crisp and clear messages from spirit, and I use it all the time when I'm meditating. Um, frankincense. We know that frankincense is really, really good for cell growth, and it's good for your brain. Um, it's got something it's it's been highly regarded obviously since the beginning of time as being um a very beautiful and important oil we'll just put it that way um peace um the peace blend that doTERRA has has so many awesome oils in it this is something i use on a daily basis partially because my kids are crazy <laughs> and i'm always in search of some peace um but it has uh, vetiver, which I love because that's going to help your root also. Um, it has lavender, which is beautiful. Ylang ylang, which is going to help your solar plexus in your heart. Um, frankincense, clary sage, uh, marjoram, spearmint. So this is full of really, really great um, things to support all of your chakras, not just your third eye. Um, peppermint, again, peppermint is, I can't stress that enough, that's one of my favorite oils for helping you to stay balanced. Peppermint helps you to get your vibration in the right place to best receive messages, and it helps you to have that crispness, that clarity, um, that uh, like edge of energy. You're really awakened um, when you use peppermint. Ylang Ylang is excellent also to help you be peaceful enough to kind of clearly absorb any messages because if you go into a meditation with the intention to connect with somebody or some energy source, I mean, you're not relaxed, it's not going to happen for you or you're going to just stress yourself out. So Ylang Ylang, lavender, peace, all of these oils are really excellent for helping you with those things. Um, so you can use them in a roller ball on your pulse points. Um, you can use them in your diffuser when you meditate or when you sleep at night. Um, or you can put them directly to the areas that would correspond. So I wouldn't really recommend putting them right here. Um, it's okay with like frankincense, but I wear makeup, so I wouldn't put it right here. I would put it on my temples and I would put them on the back of your neck if you're really looking for some extra support. So that being said, let's move on to our final chakra, which is our crown chakra. Um, the mantra here is I know. Um, this is called clear knowing. Um, so 
clear seeing is called clairvoyance and clear knowing is called clear cognizance. And actually my clear cognizance, Claire cognizance is my strongest psychic sense. Ever since I woke up from my coma, I have just known things about people. And that all has to do with your crown chakra. And it's actually located right above your head, about right here. Its color is purple. And it's going to deal with your divine connection um, and your life purpose. So Obviously, I woke up from my coma and things were different and I was seeing all kinds of things. And I just realized, I guess, that that um, had to have happened for a reason. So I have associated all of those things together and now I am making a career out of it. So if you're somebody who feels super burnt out, um, you might have an underactive crown chakra. Um, like you hate your job, you don't feel like you're making a difference, you know, things like that. That could be from an underactive crown chakra. Also, general fear and anxiety, um, again, they have to do with your root. So everything kind of goes back to your root not working properly, um, but that could have to deal do with your crown chakra as well. Depression, headaches, again, we're talking about systems in your head. Um, also, people who blame God, and that's something that I haven't come across um, recently, but I used to see it a lot more. It's people who are just kind of... Um, looking to pass the buck instead of taking personal responsibility or looking at things in a different way. They're just blaming something to have to take the blame away. Um, overactive crown chakra. Um, again, we're talking about that like flightiness, you know, you're kind of floating around in the cosmos at all times. Um, a superiority complex. So that could go along with your solar plexus maybe being overactive as well. Um, having seizures um, could you know, have to do with that. Light sensitivity um, and nightmares. Having nightmares is, or just really, really vivid dreams um, could be because a uh, you have a overactive crown. Um, crystal wise, this is amethyst. This is the crystal that I put in my daughter's room. Um, this is a big geode, and this was really inexpensive. This is a really affordable crystal. Um, amethyst can help you sleep at night, and it can help keep away nightmares, so it's great for kids. And here's more of a palm stone that has kind of some stripes on it, and I really like this one when I meditate, too. Um, now, for these bigger stones like this, you just set it next to your bed. That's what I would do with that one. I'm just looking at some of your texts right now. I wasn't paying good enough attention. Let me just see. Do do do. To answer your question, Jillian, um, you use the crystals for both overactive and underactive. It's just going to help you find a happy medium. Um, in that spinning wheel, in that spinning system. And if you have a block there too, the crystals can help you to loosen that block. Okay. Let me, Anna, I'm gonna answer your question in a minute. Let me move to the last one of these. That's a really good question, Anna. Okay. So for your crown chakra, we're gonna use lavender is the number one. Lavender and amethyst, are like the same thing. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Lavender and amethyst have almost the same vibration to them. Lavender really helps you sleep at night. Vetiver, that's again going back to your root chakra. It's gonna help you ease those feelings of anxiety um, and help you to not have nightmares, um, to have some clear focus. Frankincense, that's another good one for your third eye as well. And it's great for cell health and brain health. Cedarwood is great for sleeping at night. Um, sandalwood, again, that's a great one for your third eye. Um, console, this is the one that my daughter Claire chose for today. Let me find it. I have so many oils. Okay, so console is a blend of frankincense, patchouli, which is, patchouli could have been on the list under, in a thousand places, actually. It's really, that's another really all-purpose one. Um, ylang ylang. 
rose actually is in this too, sandalwood. Um, so this is a really great blend. This one also smells good. Um, and again, it's purple in color. So doTERRA, you're tricky with matching with the chakras. I kind of like that. So um, this is something you could use in a diffuser. You can actually use frankincense to, and myrrh both to help purify and cleanse your crystals when you first purchase them. So that's something to have on hand. Um, Serenity is a great one to have in your diffuser at night. It's mostly lavender and it has some um, vetiver in it as well. Lavender, cedarwood. Oh, did I lie? No, there's vetiver. Roman chamomile. Ylang Ylang, Ho Wood, Vanilla. This smells amazing. So those are all great ones to have on hand. Um, we roll, roll, roll ser Serenity, and that's a great way to support their crown chakra um, and to help them stay asleep <laughs> also. Okay, so if I feel like all of my chakras are out of balance, what's the best daily routine to balance them all? Um, I have so been there. I would start my day um, with on guard on your uh, adrenal glands. So rub that into the, your lower back, kind of right above your kidneys is what you're aiming for. Um, on guard has a huge line of soft gels and beadlets and cleaning products because that blend is actually, it's supposed to be <laughs> an immune system booster. Um, and it just so happens that it is the best thing ever for your root chakra. So that's a super multi-purpose oil. I would rub that or use the touch blend, um, which is already diluted with uh, fractionated coconut oil. Rub that over top of your adrenal glands. That's how I would start my day. And I would use that as kind of a rescue. I would also put balance at the bottom of your feet at the beginning of every day. Um, uh, let's see, how do I do this? I would start using both wild orange and lemon and peppermint in water and have that first thing in the morning. Um, it's gonna energize you and it's gonna support almost all of your chakras except for your crown. So that's another really great way to go. If you um, just used those three oils in a diffuser or in your water, you would find yourself becoming more balanced as time passes. Um, I would also recommend in a diffuser, um, I would get some lavender and let's see. I think I think lavender would be the best all-purpose one. And I'd be diffusing that kind of all day. Um, if you feel like you're really, really, really out of balance, just start with one thing. Just uh, try to balance one thing at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself, but start from the bottom and work your way up is my other advice. As soon as you get your root working in better order, everything else is going to start to fall into place a lot easier. Um, and I would just give yourself some time and some love to do those things too. Um, okay. Hormonal balance post hysterectomy. Um, I would say Clary Calm is a wonderful way to help balance your hormones. Um, I would say Clary Calm and mm, post hysterectomy, I would work on your heart as well. I would say clary calm and bergamot. I would use bergamot right over top of your heart space, and I would use clary calm rolled directly onto your lower abdomen. Um, doTERRA has a whole line of women's health supplements too, um, and I would check those out also. Um, I would just give your heart space a little help there too and a little patience. I can't tell if spirit's trying to talk to me or if I'm just going crazy. So I'm just trying to listen for a second. Um, I think it's in reference to that last question. I think somebody's just coming in for you to tell you to be more patient with yourself um, and take more time for self-care. So some angel is telling you, the last person that said that to Take a little more time. Okay. Um, all right. 
let's see, we're gonna go to the next slide here. A giveaway, so exciting. So we are giving away this awesome chakra diffuser bracelet. So all of those black stones wrapped around the back of it are lava stones. And you can add essential oils directly to those stones. And the oil is actually gonna stay in there and you'll be able to smell it throughout the day. So it's awesome. Now these are actually, they look like crystals to me. Um, it looks like we have amethyst, sodalite, turquoise. I'm not sure what that green one is. It might be malachite. Then that looks like tiger's eye, amber, and red jasper. Those are all crystals that are going to help you balance your chakras. Um, that being said, whoever wins this bracelet, this bracelet is going to come with instructions on how to properly clear and charge the crystals in this bracelet so that they can be as like of best help to you. Um, you don't just buy a crystal from a store and start using it right away because it's already got energy of all the different people that have touched it so far. So that being said, whoever wins this is gonna come with tailor-made instructions on how you can uh, charge those crystals. Um, now, <laughs> um, what I want everybody to do uh, to enter the giveaway is to just uh, comment in the chat um, and tell me what chakra you guys think needs the most attention. Based on everything you've learned today, where do you think you need to start? And that will enter you in the competition. And Andrea is actually going to put all the names in a hat and shake them up and announce the winner at the end. So let's see. Okay, heart chakra. <laughs> Okay. So the root, right. I think the winner is going to be the root here. We will see. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next slide here too. So now what? Now what do you do? So you wanna work on your root chakras, you wanna work on your heart, you wanna do all these things. Um, there's different ways that you can get your hands on these oils. You can obviously just play the retail price. You can just go to my website. It's mitoterra.com slash clarity with Katie. All of my website websites, so Facebook, my own personal website, and doTERRA, they're all just clarity with Katie, just to streamline things. Um, so you can go there, and uh, you don't have to pay a membership fee. You just go ahead and order, and it'll ship to you, and you'll pay retail. Um, you could also get a wholesale membership, which is just like a Costco membership. Um, it's $35 is the initial cost, and you don't have to sell the oils. This is for somebody who just wants to use them for personal use. Um, and then every subsequent year, it's $25, and you get a free peppermint oil every year you re enroll. Um, or you could purchase a kit, which will enroll you automatically into a uh, wholesale membership. And this is what I did because I'm using the oils and I didn't want to spend $35 and not get anything. <laughs> I wanted to buy a kit and start using them right away. So the cost is going to vary based on what you'd like to get in your kit, but we have actually put together a chakra kit uh, that will be available for anybody who wants to get started. Um, and let's take a look here. Here's what we put together for you. So um, if you want today, um, you can enroll with this chakra kit, which gives you one oil per each chakra. But you have oils like peppermint, which are, like we mentioned, very, very multi-purpose. Lavender is multi-purpose. On Guard is gonna help you with your immune system. Um, these, this is a wonderful way to get started. And if you were to buy these oils at retail price, if you uh, just decided to order them from my website, you're gonna spend about 50 bucks more. So today, you can do this and you'll get a free wholesale membership in the meantime. Um, we have agreed that we are actually going to reimburse you the $35 cost of the wholesale membership if you choose to buy this kit today. So 
Um, if there's anybody who wants to buy this kit and get started um, using these oils in your home, I'm actually gonna type my phone number in the chat box and I want you to just send me a text and we'll get you enrolled tonight. Um, here we go. So you can go ahead and text me and you guys are welcome to save my number too if you have additional questions after the class is over. Uh, da -da -da -da. Missy, congratulations, you won the bracelet. That's so exciting. Um, let's see. Okay, and I do think the root was the most, <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's what everybody feels like they need some, some work with. Okay, all right, so this kit is amazing. Uh, today's the day to get it, and there are a ton of specials and promotions for September as well. So here's what we got for September. Um, so the product of the month, uh, which is free with your 125 point volume loyalty rewards order, which is something that we would talk about, obviously, is a peppermint touch roller. Um, this is awesome for migraines. It's awesome for sore muscles. It's awesome for supporting your digestive system. You can just roll it right on. And as we know, peppermint is super, super good for your chakras. You will rip through this probably. So that would be free um, if you signed up for the Loyalty Rewards program. It's totally up to you. Um, also, Cheer Touch, which is great for your solar plexus, that's something that we talked about today, is 10% off in the month of September. So if you're enrolling with that kit and want to add this to your cart, you would get 10% off um, if you wanted to do that. And this is the biggest deal. This is free for new wholesale members. If you enroll with the chakra kit that we just talked about or some other at least 100 point volume enrollment kit um, in the month of September and set up a um, your first order for October to be at least 100 PV also, you get the Lifelong Vitality Pack, which is a three pack of supplements that doTERRA has that are amazing. One of the main reasons that I signed up for doTERRA was to get these supplements. They're awesome and they're natural and they're safe and they won't clog you up with stuff that will calcify your third eye, which is another topic. So that being said, that's the September promo. And let's keep in touch, guys. Um, I have a Facebook page and I post videos all the time about how to open up intuitively or how to protect yourself empathetically or how to support your chakras um, or how to use these oils. And I am always open for new ideas for posts. So if you're somebody who's trying to kind of delve into the spiritual realm, um, that's a great way to kind of fish around and see what's going on. Um, my website is claritywithkatie.com. I have a full list of all my services. I do um, mediumship, obviously, so I can channel spirit and talk to your loved ones for you. Um, I do aura readings. I do tarot card readings. Um, I can be booked for a party if you're local um, and want to get some of your girlfriends together. Um, and talk to some loved ones who have passed on, I would be really happy to do that for you. Um, and a couple other things. So you can check that out there. Um, if you're ready to order the oils, you can go to mydoterra.com slash clarity with Katie. And there's my email address as well. So I hope you guys got a ton of information here. And if you have any last minute questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can email um, or keep in touch on Facebook, etc. So um, Missy, we'll be in touch with you about your bracelet, and um, I hope everybody has a super good night. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs>